so we have done with the migraine now it's time for its drug we know that is it is sumatriptan is 5ht 1b and 1d agonist so before starting this drug we have a concept of these two thing a brief concept so there are many 5hts we know but 1b is the most famous it is found in the neuronal tissue and the vascular tissue guys 5ht1b and 1d is located in the trigeminal ganglia but if we talk about the 1d which is 5ht1d it is so important regarding this topic because it is found in the trigeminal nerve it is found centrally in the brain stem of trigeminal nuclear and it is found in the dural vasculature so what is 5ht is doing 5ht 1d causes the inhibition of the activated trigeminal system means it is inhibiting the release of the vasoactive neuro peptide what is also doing that it is disrupting the pain signal distribution centrally from blood vessel to the sensory neuron located in the brain stem so in this way it is becoming the more important and first we know about the 1b and 1d now let's look its action so it becomes the more easier so now what i said we have a general review of 1b and 1d now look the drug it is inhibiting the activation of trigeminal vascular system now to summarize and it is inhibiting the vasoactive neuropeptide to release and it is also induces the vasoconstriction so this our drug is helping us in preventing in treating the migraine okay guys now look at the adverse effect we know the uses is migraine and the cluster headache let's look the adverse effect of course it is 5ht so if we give along with other 5ht so and it causes the serotonin syndrome and it is inducing the vasoconstriction so we should avoid this drug in the coronary artery disease and the angina 
angina of what of prince mantle which is due to the vasospasm and apart from this it is causing the mild paresthesia i hope guys it is clear and it is a simple and easy explanation we can memorize the adverse effect and we can memorize the its mechanism of action thank you